What was your uh, the best uh, memorable travel? In my life? No, within the project. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I didn't expect that the Poznan, uh, Tartu, and Kaunas are so far away from this 90s and post-Soviet problems and areas. So they have different challenges, but uh, we have common background, which give us uh, a real um, understandable um, atmosphere inside the project. Every travel is memorable because they had different purposes and every time we travel to different city, to different country, got new experience, something interesting, something new. Every travel it was very memorable because we have a, a great team and a great company. Mariupol. Why? 17 hours in the train? Great. <laughs> Another memorable travel, travel is uh, Odessa. I've been to Odessa like six or seven years ago, and last year uh, it had changed a lot, changed a lot, and also my attitude towards Odessa changed. Mm, I think uh, that probably the first trip, uh, because it was very interesting how uh, the project would start. So the first trip for me, uh, I mean a broad tri a trip, uh, was uh, Tartu. And besides, I was uh, before in Estonia, but not in Tartu, and it was very brilliant time because there was uh, snow and uh, good feelings and you know when we started the project we worked hard but uh, we also uh, found uh, great friends. I guess each and every trip uh, had its own uh, merits, its own um, beneficial sides. Uh, on the one hand it was possible to share experiences, uh, run classes for um, uh, Ukrainian students to engage with them. Uh, secondly, it was also good to work uh, with the colleagues to contribute to the book on the Baltic Black Sea regionalism. And uh, thirdly, there was this cultural and social aspect that you visit different places, sometimes you've never been before, and you get to know people from the academic uh, milieu, and then you realize that you have many things in common or some research interests that coincide, which uh, in my opinion can result, as some of them have already done so, in uh, maybe some other joint projects, uh, maybe institutional double degree cooperation or other application for the project. So we have created uh, the ground where you can put the seeds of uh, future initiatives. fundamental question. Our project BBSR, is it a cat or dog? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. Uh, it can be the both. Oh, it's cat. A domestic cat, not from the street. Absolutely domestic. Uh, not so expensive, but uh, uh, fat and uh, not lazy, but uh, nice, <laughs> and live in the kitchen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our project uh, is a, what do you call, centipede? Um, There's a worm which has many, many, many legs, as uh, it has a body that connects us, and we are all from different eight universities. So I don't think that the allegory of um, cat or dog is um, apt here. So we are a worm. Yes, <laughs> we are a worm that, and you know, worms in the ecosystem, they are also very beautiful, maybe, and very beneficial. Maybe not everybody considers them beautiful, maybe some of them find them repulsive, but they are very beneficial. <laughs> dog or, or cat? I think it's dog. Mm? Why? <laughs> uh, because uh, actually, I love more dogs than cats, that's why, and I love our project, that's why I will tell that it's more dog than cat. <laughs> it's a cat. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm just, it's like an association for me with the mm -hmm. cat. It's so soft, nice. <laughs> Is it a cat or a dog? Definitely dog. Why? Because
because you cannot trust your mechanics. We are always, always doing what we want. And here we still have some rules. We are very flexible. So it's like a jock having a mentality of a cat. Last question. Is this project a cat or a dog? Uh, an answer from another mm, uh, partner. Our project is not a cat or a dog. It's um, uh, an animal, you know. A unicorn. <laughs> a unicorn. <laughs> it's a unicorn. <laughs> yeah, let it be unicorn. Yeah.